addition of the cocoa powder is not well dissolved and the dishwasher tablet is not well dispersed show that the formation of powder lump is a common issue in the household and similar problem can occur in the industrial scale operation. So, my PhD project is about how to avoid powder lumps by understanding the effect of interfacial properties of the powder grains and the liquid flow field used to disperse them. By changing the physical chemical properties of the powder grains, which include particle size, density, contact angle, mass flow rate of the powder grains added to the interface, and different types of liquid flow fuel used to disperse the powder, I can see drastic difference in the behavior of the powder dispersion. When the powder grains are added to the interface at a constant flow rate, the depth of the island is increased. What happens when the particle size and the contact angle are vary? If we look at the y-axis where the particle size is vary, the critical depth of island built by smaller size of grains is higher than the critical depth of island built by bigger size of grains. If we look at the x-axis, as we increase the ethanol volume fraction, which known as Vf, the contact angle decreases and the critical depth of island decreases. Next, what happens when more grains are added to the interface up to a point that the island itself has reached its critical depth? Two phenomena have been observed which are wicking and detaching. Wicking occurs when we observe few grains detached from the interface. When this happens, liquid wicks into the pores within the grains, and once the grain is completely submerged, it sinks due to its higher density. The detachment of island from the interface is considered to be the precursor of the formation of powder lump. Lastly, by looking at these two videos with two different rotational directions, the proof that introducing flow in liquid can either promote wicking or destabilize the whole island and detach from the interface as a lump that is wet outside and dry inside.